Hi, this is Zyphi Tutorial Dudes, and today I'm going to show you how to rotate your springboard. Now, this is a very cool tweak that is compatible with most of your springboard themes, um, Infinity Dock, Infinity Board, Infinity Folders, Sprint Board. It's, it's compatible with most of the tweaks out there, so it's a very cool, compatible tweak. So, to get this tweak for free, you're going to need to go to Manage, and add one of these two sources repo.insanelyi.com or xlis.com slash repo so once you have one of those sources you're going to go to S and here you can see it has SB Rotator SB Rotator Toggle for 4X and SB Rotator for 4X now um, if you have a 4.0 or higher firmware that's jailbroken, you can get this one. If you have 3.1.3 or lower, get this top one. This is just a toggle to turn it on and off in your SPS settings. You can get that if you really want. Otherwise, you can just toggle it from the normal settings, like I'll show you. So, you're going to choose the one that you want, and you're going to install it. And if it has to download any other things with it, just let it download those things. And there's another tweak out there called LS Rotator, which means Lock Screen Rotator. You can watch my video on that to see how to get that. You can get it from the exact same sources. So then you're going to restart your springboard. So once you were spring, um, before you start getting into anything, I want to show you um, all the different settings for the, your springboard rotator. So you're going to go into settings, you're going to scroll down to where it says SP Rotator, and here are the different settings. This top one is obviously enabling it. Now the activation methods, if you activate it whichever way you choose, it has a whole list of stuff. It, um, it has an orient lock activator method, so you can lock your orientation. If you have it sideways and you do the activation method, it'll just lock it in that sideways rotation. This is how long it takes to rotate it, the rotation duration. These next things is showing the different ways. So if you never want your springboard to go up and down, you can go like this. Or if you never want your springboard to go sideways, but you still want to be able to flip 180 degrees, you can get rid of the landscape rotation. This is the iPad style layout. I like it a lot because instead of making it 4x4, four four, it um, changes the icons in a different way. So I'll show you what that looks like. I, I think this is a pr that's a pretty cool feature that they added. And then this is the icon scale. Um, I would just keep this kind of stuff the way it is. This is if you want to hide labels. So if you don't want it to say App Store, you can, you can just have it only be the icon. And this is the startup, your default orientation. You can change it however you want. And application rotation just has a couple other settings down here. So let's see what this looks like. Now it's going to respring any changes you made. So once you've changed your settings and resprung, um, what you can do is you can just test it out. So if you have Infinity Dock, Infinity Folders, Infinity Board, um, like Sprint Board, you can all of these different kinds of tweaks that this is compatible with. So, you can still scroll even when you're holding it sideways. So, if you hold it sideways, now this is the iPad mode, so it doesn't really cram your icons too much. It kind of makes it nice and spread out, so you can see it more. And you can still go to different pages. You can turn it completely upside down. And obviously, you can rotate it in any orientation. So, this is a really, really cool thing for your iPod, iDevice, and I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comments.